Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Shadowgate. So we're going to be continuing our run that we had a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago. And of course I'm playing the remake which I believe was released in 2014 or so. So that's where we're at. And of course I'm... Okay, let's get our chat window ready here. So, I'm playing this blind, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I haven't died yet, and it looks like I've made 162 turns, so that's what the save game says. Hey Mac, welcome to the stream, how are you doing this evening? Okay, it says, only a trickle of water can be heard moving within the shallow underground riverbed. Off to the side, an undulated mass of water. Oh, if I hit F1, it goes back to pixelated view. I just noticed that. So I guess that's the way where you can kind of make it look like the old graphics. <laughs> okay. I think it's F2. Yeah, F2 highlights and shows the different things you can click on. Small waterfall. So I've done a few things and I've got some items and that kind of thing but now I'm probably to the point where I'm gonna be stumbling around a lot more let's see I got the mallet yeah the oh they're saying it's a warhammer that's a mallet that's not a warhammer <laughs> and what do we got here stones hey you already used these gears This I know we're going to have to use later. Because it talked about that, about a pumpkin. Alright. And we'll have to use that around the same area. What is this? Oh, that iron shield that I was using against that dragon. Which is almost damaged by now. This spell I already used, I believe. But I think this one I haven't figured out a use for yet. Okay. You're doing great. Glad to hear it, Mac. I'll zoom out so I can read the text. Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, thanks again for the for those games. I appreciate it. Um, Quest for Glory. I played only part one. And of course it's called Heroes Quest when I bought it. I still have the original and everything. And they had to change the name to Quest for Glory. So I'll be really interested in playing those other four. And then uh, I saw someone... One of my brother's friends a long time ago play Out of This World on the PC, I believe. Um, but I don't think I played it. And that one looks interesting, too. And then the other one I've, I've never heard of, so I'm not sure about that one. All right, let's see here. Let's take a look around. So where we've gone. I remember this grotto. There was something shooting at me there. But I wasn't sure what to do. Maybe I'll try to go back there. OK, 
Okay, so I need to go back to the alcove. I think that's where I need to go in here. Oh yeah, and those bridges over there, that's right. Figure moves of the opening. Oh, I see it up there. Whatever that thing is. So there's bones. And this, which leads to the bridges. And this itself, I guess. You sense a Furtive movement within the darkness of the opening. Something or someone is definitely up there. Hmm. is a bit smaller than the ones you've seen before. A long deep crack runs down the length of the bone. Oh, there's a spear right there. The f Oh, it's an arrow? Okay, the fletching on this arrow looks a bit tattered, but its silver arrow tip looks like to be in good condition. Let's see if we can get it. Cool. I didn't even see that before. This particular bone looks fresher than the others. Hmm. Okay, I don't really see anything else. Let's see how many turns that made we're at now. I was at 162, now we're at 167, okay. So three. So it does look like it takes turns to either look at an item or to pick it up. Cause I don't think I made five total turns. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it took a turn to pick that up. Alright, well, I don't know what else I could do. I don't have a bow. bow and, you know, I have the arrow, but not a bow to shoot back. Hey, shot! Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? So I guess we'll go ahead and go back into this bridge area. This half-buried carved stone appears to be a keystone. Hmm. Hey Cole, welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? Keystone. Backfires, okay. What I want to know is if that uses up a turn. Let's take a look. 169. I was at 167, 168 to move here. So I do think that used up a turn to cast a spell. Okay, see what this looks like. 
Shot says he's doing fine. This is Shadowgate. You don't recognize it this far. Yeah, this is the remake from uh, 2014 on the PC. Mac bought this for me a couple weeks ago. Glad you're doing great, Cole. You don't think you ever played this. It looks cool, though. Yeah, I've never played it either. I'm playing this blind. This is the second time I've streamed it. I haven't died yet, but that may change pretty rapidly here. I'm thinking of going through this. Let's see what happens. A dense fog greets you as the stone passage opens into a small chamber. The temperature plummets as a creature materializes in front of you. It flinches from the light of your torch. Well, that makes makes me want to use the torch on him. With a cry, you swing the lit torch at the wraith. The ethereal being is instantly enveloped in a bright flash of flame. It's tortured moan hanging in the air as it vanishes. Okay, well hopefully I was supposed to do that. Congratulations, you earned the torchbearer achievement. Because <laughs> I, I picked up so many torches, I guess. Oh, look at that. There's a pumpkin back there. Where do you have one pumpkin? I think... I remember reading some earlier. I thought it said you had to have two pumpkins or something. Hmm. Before I go in there, let's see if there's anything else. So I don't die. This rune is firmly attached to the wall, glowing with power. Truly, this must have belonged to one of the wizards of the circle. <clears throat> Looked like a Dementor, yeah. The solid door is carved with strange designs and ornate filigrees. Well, I don't see anything indicating that I can't go after this pumpkin. Pumpkin, okay. So we got two of those now. And then I have the mask. I remember reading about that somewhere. I just don't know where. Let me see if this tells us. Okay. What I want to know is if this takes an action to read. One seventy four. Okay, let's see if that just bumped us to one seventy five. It didn't. Okay, good. All right, so we can read these as many times as we want. You read the message scrawled on the page. Brown, I have your dog. If you wish to see the flying ace again, then bring the three pumpkins. Oh, there's three pumpkins. To the place beyond the harvest door. But be wary, for only one outfitted in a mask of how hallowed eve can gain entrance. So I don't know if that's what this is. You must carve my visage and illuminate the sacrifices in the field of jack-o'-lanterns. Then I will be freed and this will all end. Hmm. Well, I don't have that other pumpkin yet. I'm not sure where to get that. Looks like I can open this. Let me put that mask on just in case. You 
You slip the costume mask over your head. The thing smells terrible. Makes it difficult to see. With a creak of protest, the door opens. The sound of trickling water comes from beyond the doorway. Hey, Takaho, welcome to this stream. How are you doing this evening? Good afternoon. <laughs> Chat says, did they remake Uninvited 2? I don't know. I never played the original, so I'm not sure. There's a scroll. Some kind of door. Then there's these three gates. Although weathered and moldy, the scroll was held up has held up well over the years. Okay. As you read the scroll, one particular word stands out from the rest. Entrays. In your mind's eye, you see a, a glyph glowing with power. As you write down the strange marking in your spell book, the scroll crumbles in your hand. You have learned a spell. The meaning of the spell glyph is clear. Entrays, you whisper, as the way seems to open in front of you. A metallic screech echoing in the recesses of your mind. Well, that's not very clear to me. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Taco, you did miss the Bard's Tale 2 finale. Uh, but you could go back and watch it on the stream. I started three <laughs> pretty early in the week. Oh, so you quit smoking, Taco. Good for you. That's great. <laughs> oh, you just ran out of cigarettes, I see. That's funny. Okay, let's see here. Let's take a look at this thing. The iron door is latched shut by nothing more than a simple bolt. Open the latch. This opening is some five or six hands wide. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you go back and catch it later, yep. Okay. How could we possibly go up there? We don't have a rope or anything. Ah, okay. This is where I was before. So this is a shortcut to get down there. That's interesting. I'm wondering if I should try my spell on this. Okay, so that didn't do anything. Well, let's go back down there then. Do 
tug on the iron bars the grate resists at first but then it opens providing access to the chamber beyond so that won't actually allow us to move through there this one we can't open either interesting so that was the only one You wrinkle your nose at a decaying smell wafting from this grade. Hmm. Try this spell. Nothing happened, okay. Well, I don't think I can do anything here right now then. So I've closed all these again. I had opened them all. That's where I just came from. Okay, let's look at the map. So I'm right here. So I guess this indicates that there's a room in these rooms. Oh, there's the sewer. I read something about the sewer. You had to have the pumpkins there maybe? Still only have two of them. Did the gears. Taco says anyone remember the quest games? Oh yeah, of course. I've done quite a few of those. I've got some reviews of them too on here in case you haven't seen those. You can never solve Police Quest or King's Quest, just the space one. Yeah, um, I've played through King's Quest 1 through 4 for sure on the old DOS days. Police Quest 1, I think I beat. That's the only one. And then Space Quest, I think I beat three of them maybe. Not really sure. But yeah, they're all great games, Sierra games. Okay, let me look at my notes again here. Seek my obelisk in the alcove den below the sewers. Below the sewers. You must hide the silver orb beyond the waters of the sewer. I don't think I have that. It's just a regular rock. 
Yeah. You read the message scroll on the page. Brown Ivor Dolph. Bring the three pumpkins to the place beyond the harvest door. But be wary. Okay. This mirror leads through the furnace into the castle beyond and these mirrors require power to activate and will teleport to places strewn across the castle. Okay. Brother, if you're reading this, then I am no more. I fear we have underestimate his ambition in the depths he would travel into the dark arts protect the seals at all costs he must not get them power up the ways and follow the mirrored path to the lone keep add your strength to unthalms if nothing else perhaps our weather master can blunt the evil one's advance especially with your support hmm yeah, I feel like uh, I don't really have enough information to go on with those. Crypt, that's where I came from. Cavern Lake. Cellar. Oh, and then that leads to the dragon nest. Okay. Let's try the cellar again. Here's the pixelated view. So when I hit F2, the only thing to interact with is this door or this thing. Hmm. Taco says, yeah, King's Quest 4, you couldn't get away from the damn wizard. Oh yeah, that's part three. Part three had the wizard. You remember cooking him mutton and making him run for it? Yeah. Yeah, you have to cast, you have to get ingredients and create spells. And then, then you can uh, destroy that wizard. But yeah, that, that was really difficult in King's Quest 3. Well, let's try to cast a spell. I haven't tried this one yet on him. It's probably not going to work, but... Magical orb, it keeps saying that, but yeah, I don't have one. That dragon's in there, but I'll die if I go in there. Hmm. Alright, let's try going back this way. sense something large and ominous deep below the surface of these black waters.
Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Let's see. Wade through... Wouldn't... What? Calm waters, you decided it wouldn't be the smartest thing to wade through in order to get to the skeleton. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. Let's see. Hmm. No, I'm still here, Mac. Let's see. Small waterfall empties out into the lake. I do not know what to do with this. I know I've tried these spells. Hmm. Wouldn't be helpful. So it won't let me get these skulls. <laughs> yep, let's try this on. At this point, I don't have enough clues to go on. So the only thing I can do is keep trying to click on things and that uses up turns. Okay, so nothing in here. Do you have a bad feeling about this? Yeah, I sure do. Hooded figure with a darkened visage. Backfires. Bounces uselessly against the cold dead stone. Okay. So once again, nothing to do here. I've already opened this stone. I didn't do anything with this rug, I don't think. What is this? The pattern on this once fine rug has been dulled by time. Its edges have become frayed and torn. Hmm. Rug bursts into flames, sending a cloud of smoke up toward the vaulted stone ceiling. The 
The runes on the archway glow in mystical energy. You feel more than here a low thrum of power. So, I don't know what to do with this. I already used this. So then we're back out here. I've already looked at all this stuff, but these skulls. I don't know if I'm supposed to take them. Or do something to them. Hit Yorick! Why in the hell would you do that? He helps you. As you begin to speak to Yorick, he interrupts. You better be sure you want my advice because... or before you speak to me again. Because I'll be giving hints next. Okay, give me a hint. One of the skulls is missing. You should keep an eye out for it. Those skulls are all that remain of some of the greatest wizards. Yeah, and I had one. I tried to put one in there and it didn't fit. And then I tried to pick up the other and it wouldn't let me. You're physically incapable of getting the skull in the slot. It simply will not fit. Okay. So it won't let me pick up those other skulls in that other room. So I guess this is a dead end. I haven't gone back to the hideaway in a little while. The only other place I could try to go is this footbridge. Is there was a a bridge there, but I'm guessing it leads to right there. And that would be bad news because I'd come out right where the dragon is. Unless there is one extra room right there, maybe. But that bridge looks pretty rickety too. <laughs> So I'm not too comfortable doing that. Okay. Pixelated view doesn't make it any easier.
Wish I knew what these spells did. <laughs> Max says he's on the edge of his seat watching me figure this out. Yeah, the key is trying to figure it out. I don't have much information to go on and I feel like I haven't died yet, but I'm going to have to take some risks, you know? It's like I really don't have anywhere else that I can go unless I just keep trying to click on every combination. I just don't have enough uh, information. So, the only thing I can think of doing right now is going to that other bridge. Um, let's see. Let's look back at this map. Cellar. I checked that out already again. I've already cleared everything in the crypt. Alcove. That's where the, yeah, the dead body is. Maybe there's something here at the footbridges. Go back there again. Is this? Oh, that's the cellar. Yeah, we don't want to go into the dragon's nest. I'm sure I can't use the arrow because I don't have a bow. To see what happens. Nothing happened <laughs> when you used it on the cave. That's funny. Yeah, I've already looked at all that stuff. Okay, there's this thing. What is that? Hit it? Okay. Strike the brazier a mighty blow with your fist. The metal bowl separates with a clang and falls into the chasm, leaving the metal legs. Hmm. The legs of the brazier form a kind of iron hook. Okay, well that's something. What could we do with a hook? Taco says it has a Lovecraftian vibe. Yeah, I agree. It really does have a... seem like something Lovecraft would have. hooks can have multiple uses you know I mean you can use it to grab onto something or you could use it to like if I had a rope I could use it as a grappling hook you could use it to catch something alright what else we got here this stone I've looked at before. Circle within a shield 
outline. Strange writings cover the stone. You think you recognize the name Majal amongst the hard to decipher. I'm guessing Majal is the dragon's name because when I look at this, it looks like it would go up to there. And <clears throat> there was a note that said something about Majal's tail. I think we should make me think it's the dragon's tail. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't want to go that way. <laughs> I think if I go that way, I'm going to die. All right, what did this one say again? It just it says it's a keystone. Hmm, that keystone reminds me of a game called Keystone Capers on the Atari. this room passage oh I wonder if I could use it to somehow pull open one of these gates yeah sewers next is there anything in here? There's a rune. It's about all. All right, let me see if I can use. Let me assign a number eight to it. No effect on the grate. And it won't let me go this direction. Barely covers the sandy floor. Max says, do you enjoy the old Atari games? Yeah, I sure do. For what they had, the hardware, you know, they were super creative. There's an Atari vault on Steam with 150, 2600 games. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I used to... I had an Atari 2600 when I was a little kid. Not for too long, but when we did have it, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Some pretty cool games on there. All right, let's see here. So you already know the mirrors are up there. I really need a rope. So then maybe I could grab that skeleton with the hook that's across that water. I just don't understand why it won't let me go through. Oh! Now it shows. Oh, that's to close it. Okay. Wait. Go to sewer. So was I just not clicking on the right spot? Are you serious? I think that might be what's happening there. I was clicking on the hole and I don't think it was registering as, as a place you could go. Wow, that's what it was. That's pretty lame. Okay. Peering into the darkness, you drop down in the muck and crawl through the tight opening. The stone den is damp and smells of cops and copes and green foliage. As if a mirage, the far side of the cave shimmers and power emanates from a standing stone obelisk. Ah, so this is the stone that the one dude was talking about. Let me just go back to my notes. We must coordinate our efforts. Seek my obelisk in the accolade den below the sewers. Fear the worst is upon us, but I have plans in motion. This, okay, so let's see what happens when we look at this. 
The stone obelisk is nearly ten hands high, embellished with strange glyphs and three deep notches. It hums with an ancient power that assures you it can be powered by a simple magical invocation. Okay. Invoking. Is this going to work? Whisper word, your spell is unleashed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Something's happening, guys. A strange apparition coalesces from within the obelisk. The ghostly figure of an old man cloaked in a shimmering veil. You have done well, simple soldier. Now, listen if you have ears. Since the shadows grow long and time fleet. Some forty years past, an evil the likes the world has not beheld escaped its prison, Talimar, the Black, he of whom I have already spoken. This warlock lord brought forth his dark magics and conjurations and unleashed his foul vassals, desecrating these sacred halls. Talimar has laid waste to the combined power of man. And what of the circle of twelve? The great wizards? Hmm. They are no more. I am the last. Pity me not, boy. We were resolute in our judgment, but erred greatly. Could have been better to put our brother to death. But mercy and folly prevailed. I know not Talimar's full plans, but have discovered enough to fill my heart with fear. And yet, hope remains, and it stands or falters with you. Fare thee well. Achievement unlocked. Wizard's friend. Lacamar the Timeless vanishes, leaving behind a scroll, a glowing orb, and the words, Fare thee well. Okay. Is that orb the silver one I was talking about? Oh, it's on the ground still. The clear orb has a silver sheen. Okay, so that's got to be the silver orb that the one note was talking about. Check the chat here real quick. Oh, yeah, I, I did get it. That's crazy. Gallagher Missile Command might be fun. Old school. X says, nice cutscene. Takao says he wanted the NES in 1987, but they kept getting the Ataris instead. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, thanks, Mac. Mike Tyson's punch out was huge on initial release for the NES. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I played that many times. <laughs> okay, cool. Got another scroll. The scroll is quite old. Okay. You read the words on the scroll loud. Five to find, three are one. One gives access the bladed sun, the silver orb to banish below, the staff of ages to vanquish the foe, joining to the golden thorn, the last to invoke the platinum horn. Okay. I'm sure that's instructing us order in which to do things, but right now I really don't have a clue until I start finding some of that stuff. Five to find, three or one. One gives access. The bladed sun. Okay. 
I'll save it. Hey Brad, welcome to the stream. Doing great, how about you? Okay, is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like, oh, there's something with the water here. Ankle deep water flows into this chamber. Perhaps looking for something, perhaps not. Okay, let me look. One of these notes said something about the Silver Orb. You must hide the Silver Orb beyond the waters of the sewer. Hmm. I mean, I am beyond the waters of the sewer, but... This is where we found the silver orb. So why the heck would we put it here? Glad you're doing good, Rod. You're playing guitar for a bit, trying to learn chords for metal songs. They use a different tuning with different, and with distortion is different. You're having fun. Cool. Taco says Talamir. Eh. Wonder if he's a match for Mundane the Evil Wizard. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. So I have this hook that I have to f figure out where to use also. Hmm. Alright, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and try to use the orb here. I don't think that's where I'm supposed to use it, but... Yeah, no impact. Okay. Using a hook on the water? Does that make sense? Maybe there's something hidden under there that it'll drag up. No? Okay. Well, we're not beyond the waters of the sewer, but... Stop trying. Okay. are still closed. I just can't think of a way to get past these grates right now. I mean, you'd think I could fit through this little hole, but it's not considering that. Rod says that's a good looking map. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it? Taco says Dragon Magazine had some great artwork of Evil Mundane from Ultima, you think? That's cool. Remember the character better than what game he's from. <laughs> Rod says the incline shot for some reason is annoying me. LOL. Which, what are you talking about, Rod? You mean because it's like going down like this at an angle? It makes you feel like you're off kilter? <laughs> think of where I can use that hook. Well, that might 
drag. The bug? That's really weird. The map won't drag. That's got to be a bug. Weird. I can't drag it now. Okay, let me get out of this area. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Still can't drag it. What the heck? Those buttons work. Wow, I think there's a bug here, guys. Let me save it. There we go, now I can drag it. Yeah, that was a weird bug. That's the first bug I've seen in this game. Okay. Rod says, yeah, like a poorly shot image. Yeah, it really was. Takao says, Lovecraft's voice. The angles and architecture were all wrong. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I'm trying to think of where I could use a hook. feel like it's not very useful unless I had a rope or something with it. All right, well, the only thing I can think about doing right now, and I've saved the game, I haven't died yet, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to die, but I'm going to do it anyway, is I'm going to go down here to this footbridges and cross that other bridge. So, like I said, I think this is a bad move. I wouldn't do this normally. But since I'm not sure where else to go, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. But hey, not bad. I haven't died yet, so. You hesitate, you take a hesitant step on the rickety bridge. The bridge sways and creaks alarmingly. You halt in mid stride and step back off the bridge. It definitely doesn't seem safe. Perhaps there's some entity that could help you become lighter than air. Ah, oh, okay, well, there you go. It wouldn't actually even let me die. <laughs> no, I thought I would for sure die. Hmm. <clears throat> That's pretty funny. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything there. Okay. I don't think using the hook here will do anything, but... Yeah. You know what? I could use some of that cottonwood tabak. Now that was good stuff. <laughs> so Yorick's the, uh... This guy up here that gives hints. That's funny. Max is always finding the bugs. I am, man. I, it's so weird. I play games, not this one, but I've played other games my whole life and never found bugs. And then when I stream them, that's when I find the bugs. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> Gosh, I wish I knew what I could do with this guy. Don't let me walk up there. Put the shield back on. It still won't let us. And it won't let me pick this up. I already tried the spell.
All these canyon or these doorways and things reminds me of a uh, dragon's lair. All right, let's try. What the only other thing I can think of? I wonder. It said to use the silver spear below the sewer. I wonder if. I wonder if it means here, the passage. That's where that water elemental thing was. I bet that's what's, I bet that's what'll happen. Doggone it, okay. Uh, first let's use the hook. I think that's eight. Nope, you're not gonna risk it, okay. Let me go all the way back and try to use that orb. Oh, did I go the wrong way? No. Oh, it's not here. Doggone it. Where is it? Is it in the grotto? No, the grotto is where the orc is. It's in this antechamber. No, that's where you came in. Hmm. Is it here? Oh, I bet it was in the cellar. So that wouldn't be below that. One, two... Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's it's going to take me five steps no matter how I do it to get there. Okay. Max says he just bought Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair 2 and Space Ace for five bucks. Cool. Which ones did you buy? Like Blu ray or like on the Xbox or. Taco says that broken barred gate is like a taunt to the player. <laughs> yeah. Steam has them, but but I mean, which is it for the PC? Like, and is it the, the originals? All right, let's see if this orb works on this thing. Oh, it did work. Taking the silver orb from your satchel, you advance upon the ice elemental. You can barely hold on as the power from the orb latches on to the singularity and pulls it inside. A frosty pattern immediately encases the orb. Ah, so now we can use this to freeze water, I bet. A layer of frost coats the or silver orb forcing you to use a cloak to hold it. The essence of an ice elemental. Oh, cool. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, let's go back. To here. Let me save that real quick.
Yeah. As you release the ice elemental, you fumble the silver orb, dropping it into the lake. Immediately, the still water freezes into a solid sheet of ice. Excellent work. Make your way across the slippery ice toward the chained skeleton. Skeletal remains of some unfortunate soul are chained securely into this rock. They're the originals, you believe? Cool. Yeah, that would be awesome if, if there's no latency. Because I bought the DVD version a long time ago. I don't know, 15, 15 years ago. And every time it would switch scenes there was, or you'd push a button, there was a slight delay of like 500 milliseconds before we play the next. It was super annoying. So that would be great if the Steam version has it actually, has, has that lag eliminated and... You can play the actual arcades. That'd be awesome. Taco says uh, they had Dragon's Lair rigged at the arcade. <laughs> Just an instant that cutscene and it took your dollar. Yeah, it was so hard. I spent so much money at the arcade. I never did beat it because I was a kid when it was out. It was so hard. I bet I probably played $100 worth of tokens, you know, <laughs> in that game but never did win Gator says the old DVD and CD versions were really bad yeah they were Gator says some of them even changed what the moves were oh really that's bad hey Brian welcome to the stream No, the arcade version did not have lag. If it did, then there was something wrong with the one you were playing. Because the arcade version, as soon as you touch something, it was playing the next. It was a laser disc. So yeah, if, you, if it had lag, then you were playing on a bad arcade machine. Max has played this morning, moves fast. Too fast like he remembers. There's a hard mode. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'd love playing that. Now as an adult. If there was no lag. Gator says the arcade version had like no loading, just a flash of static. So you saw static? No, I, the one I played didn't. It was perfect. It didn't have any issues. It was super smooth. Okay, let's see what we can do with this guy. Skeleton key. <laughs> yeah, really. I guess we could try to use fire on him. Seems like that's the thing to do a lot of times in this game. Okay, it didn't do anything. All right, well, we got a skeleton key now. That's awesome news. Can we go up here too now? No. Can we take this orb back? Perhaps the torch of some flame will release it. Okay. Cool. All right, we got our orb back too. Nice. Making some progress. All three for five bucks on Steam, that's cool. It was like this stat static effect when it changed scenes. Yeah, then you had a defective uh, machine you played. If you're talking about the arcade gator, yeah, it shouldn't do that. Yeah, he it came with Space Ace. Hey, Eric. Welcome. How you doing this evening? Oh, thanks. All right, so we now have a key, which hopefully will open a bunch of doors. I'm trying to think of where I've been that would have something locked. The sewer, those grates, but 
they didn't really have keyholes. The mirrors. I don't think there were keyholes on those. <clears throat> I don't see anywhere else to go though. We'll go try it on the mirrors first. Glad you're doing great, Eric. I'm doing great too. I haven't died yet. I'm sure it's coming though. Hmm. Large boulders, veins of quartz. Attempt to move the rock, but unable to get the proper leverage. Hmm. Wonder if a hook would help with that. Nope. Okay. Attempt to lift the rock. You feel something move, but unfortunately, it's in your back. <laughs> Maybe it'll work on this, the key. Yes! The door unlocks and you throw away the key. Alright. I do remember something about the Halloween mask. So let me check my notes before I go in here. You were just going to ask if I died yet on this run. No, I haven't. And I I freed some wizard and there was a cutscene, so I, I guess I kinda made it to the next section or whatever you want to call it. If you wish to see Flying Ace, then bring three pumpkins, which I only have two, to the place beyond the harvest door. But be wary for only one outfit and mask. For the Hallowed Eve can gain entrance. Alright, so let's put this on. I don't know if this is the hollow door or not. Oh, I had the mask on that whole time. <laughs> That's funny. A wave of heat slams into you, making your eyes water. A wave of heat washes over you as you move into the next room. The intense heat surely from the unearthly fire before you fills this room. Alright, let's see if that silver orb will work here. Considering what you have been able to imprison, you aren't surprised that the fire effect, or the, the fire has no effect on the silver orb. So is the thing still in there? It's clear orb. So the, the uh, ice elemental thing I captured isn't there anymore. So I guess, is it dead or do I have to go back and get it again? That was here in the cellar. Let's see if I can go back to the cellar. Crypt, small hall, cellar.
Yeah, it is back. Okay. Let's see here. Alright. The other possibility is that may work on this dragon. I'm not... <laughs> I don't really want to risk that. Eric says supposedly there are hidden deaths in this game that you either have to really go out all out to f your way to get or remembering what was in the original. Alright, let's try this again, see if it works. No, it didn't work. I do have some spells. I have this Entraz. So, I don't have anything to deal with this. I'm sure as heck not going to try to cross this bridge. That'd be a disaster. Gator says this interface is so much more clunky compared to the Mac version. Hey, says Tam, welcome. How you doing? Instead of just clicking and dragging items, Gator says. Hmm. I think this has a way we can do that, Gator. I think there's like an option for legacy mode or something, but I'm not playing in that mode. I'm playing with the updated user interface. All right, let's see here. Maybe the sewer I could use it to freeze the water. This waterfall already went up through that to the hideaway. So I don't think it'll be useful there. Hmm. Okay, I'll try it at the sewer first. It's probably not doing anything. The ice elemental escapes quickly disappearing from sight. That's weird. So I guess if you use it on something wrong, the elemental just goes away. <laughs> and then you gotta go get it again. That's pretty funny. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get it and then I'm gonna try to use it on the dragon and see what happens. That's probably a bad idea, but it's getting close to being time for the stream to end anyway. <laughs> Taco says, random fact, whole wheat Ritz crackers taste like Triscuits. That's funny. That is a random fact. All right, let's see here. Ok, 
Okay. All right, here goes nothing, guys. I'm sure I'm gonna die here. Let me make sure my shield's equipped. Okay. Smell of brimstone rises with the chamber. Let's see if it'll work on it. Step towards the dragon. Begins gathering a breath. Okay. You must raise your shield and deflect dragon's flame. However, the fire is taking its toll on the shield and begins to melt. So yeah, the silver orb didn't do anything. Oh, we got a helmet. Here. I don't see anything else. Okay. While you're safe, your shield finally succumbs to the dragon's breath completely destroyed. Alright. <laughs> well, we didn't die, but we have no shield. Okay, we did get a helmet though. I'm not sure what I could do with that. Outfit. Looks a bit small for you. Okay. Oh, thanks, Mac. Yeah, made some progress. Sastam says a Taco Bell drive through is an interesting place after 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah. And Taco Hill yells, Dragon! Okay, well, yeah, made some progress. I don't really know where to go next time, but... Hey, that was pretty good. I still have yet to die. So that's, that's cool. That's always a bonus. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend, and... I will see you next time.